Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video, and we got Sean. And for what reason in particular? Not really much of one, besides somebody emailed me, and they were apologizing, like, over and over, because they thought this guy was me. So now I'm confused on if me and this guy have anything in common, if we look alike. Like, I just, I gotta know what Sean's about. Plus, I think I also heard he was the biggest guy on the show, so I'm not 100% sure if that guy was trolling me or not. He very well could have been just trying to make fun of me. I don't know. But let's see what the hell Sean's got going on in his life. When you become the most destructive person in your life, you have to start to look outside yourself for help to change. I'm still not sure why my 600 pound life loves to start with ducks. Like Willie Robinson must be like a producer or something from Duck Dynasty. He's young. Whoa, mama. Every day I wake up, I have to face the reality of what my life has become. I'm so big now, I can hardly move. All I can do on my own. Oh, no, he does not just let it splash down his balls. There's no way he's getting all the fat out of the way. Is he really just doing runoff for his pee? That has, he has to have, like, ammonia burns and everything down there. Yeah, let's scooch to the edge of my bed, go to the bathroom, and see if my mom's awake. Is that his belly button? I can get up, but I can only walk a few steps. So I just stay here in this bed no matter what. I can't I'm still pretty jealous I never got to play with the fat zip line, but I feel like I've said that over and over. I never got one of those things. I can't do anything for myself anymore. Mom? How you doing, sweetie? Just like Sean has to just totally be taken care of from head to toe. Oh, so this is fat on fat crime. I see what's going on here. You know, everything has to be done for him. I only move when I have to because it hurts to do anything. Oh my, I gotta see his foot again, but hold on. The hardest days are when I have to get up for my bath. Not that foot. Be quite painful. That one. What kind of crab claw thing is that going on there? That's weird. That's gotta hurt like hell too. Poor guy. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Hey, how are you, Sean? Alright. Yeah. I've known Sean and Renee for two or three years and I come in and I help her. No way. That's gotta be splash off on the carpet right there too. Alright. Well, I guess that's bound to happen. Oh, that foot, man. Clean up and do laundry and cook some meals and help give Sean a bath. Okay. Can you lift? Sean has gotten so big, I can't handle cleaning him on my own anymore. And it's really important that he stays clean because he gets open sores real easily. Oh, God. Like, I know what chub rub looks like. Trust me, been there, done that. I've never seen it split like that. That just has to be like uncared for for such a long time. Or he's just that big that it's pulling that hard on it. When you're very, very fat, your body goes this way, but the fat goes another way. And so what happens is you start getting tears in your skin from that. Ah, uh, yes, the fat fault line. We've seen that before. It happens in uh, ge geology? I don't know, stupid joke. The problem is they can get worse real easy, so every day we have to take care of them, and it is a painful process. Ready, babe? Hang on, I gotta get my shoulder into this. Okay. He's very difficult to- No way she bounces it on her head like that. That's gotta be a circus trick. We're going Barnum and Bailey with this biggin. Wow. That's impressive. You know how they balance like those baskets on their heads in like Africa? The mom has found a way to do that with Chubb, but give her an award. Move, and it's very hard for me to lift this large mass on his side and get underneath oh, it no. and clean properly. Oh, when you get a chance, I need a dry washcloth. Got it in my eye. All right, you okay, Sean? That's what she said. The hardest part for me is when I have to lean over 
I cannot breathe. Okay, I understand, like, sleeping on your side is like, considerably harder. I'm strictly a back sleeper. I'm still strictly a back sleeper. I sleep like the living dead. But I can sleep on my side now. When you're that big, you can't. You're crushing everything when you lean to the side. It's such a horrible feeling because my body just can't handle much. And it's mostly my legs and my knees that hurt the most. There you go. <gasps> Oh. oh. Starting to shake, Mom. Mm. Okay, we're almost done. Two seconds, okay. Starting to shake. How? Are we twerking on this show now? All right, I understand what he means. But weak legs, all that. He's obviously not standing very long. He does the, like, run-off pee thing. So this is kind of him pushing. I'm surprised he can even do this, because this guy might be the biggest person we've seen. Let me get this corner down. All right, you should be good, honey. There you go. Okay, good job, okay. I'm a prisoner, all I want is out. And I never really thought my life would end up like this. Nobody plans for it, but that prisoner feeling, very much a lot of us feel that way. A mullet? When I was really young, I had a lot of difficulty controlling my emotions. I would lash out at people when I was angry. I was an angry kid, but I don't think I had... Tr I didn't have, like, Reese's Rage or anything. Maybe that's what he had. I would kick people. I bit someone once. I didn't you control that myself hungry? well. Because things were hard at home. My dad would get... What? How does the mom look like Chubby Taylor Swift? That's insane. Angry at me, and he had a tendency to get in my face and yell at me. He would do things like back me into a corner, and I was just worried what he might do when he lost it. It was scary. I didn't know how to deal with it. You should never be scared of your parents. I got disciplined a hell of a lot, but I was a bad kid. One time I even got drop kicked through a closet, but I deserved that one 100%. And that was the day I learned my dad's a ninja. So I would eat. And suddenly I felt a lot better. In that moment, nothing else mattered. I probably overcompensated in a lot of ways. I couldn't go to the store without bringing him home a treat. I have an eating issue myself. No kidding. But uh, yeah, obviously if she's struggling with food, He's going to struggle with food. It's just a vicious cycle, but it seems like he struggled a hell of a lot more. Or he just gave up way early on from, like, all the stress from his dad and everything. I'm not quite sure how that would stress somebody out. I was never scared of my dad. And it's hard to fix in someone else what's wrong with you. Damn! I started putting on a lot of weight, and by the time I was nine, I was probably 150 pounds. That pizza was probably 25 of it. And then, when I was 10 years old, my mom and dad split up. I realized it wasn't healthy for Sean to stay around his father. But the divorce really had a hard effect on Sean. It really bothered him. I could see that affecting a kid at that age. My parents split. I was way older. And it still affected me a little bit, if I'm being honest. Like, it just, it doesn't feel right when your parents kind of split and you just see them as, like, this perfect couple in your head. But as a kid, I imagine a lot of it can fall, like, blame on yourself or you feel like you did it. You didn't at all, Sean. I felt like it was my fault. Felt like my family had fallen apart because of coming. me. So I kept going to food to deal with those feelings. Or I guess. Why does he have a cake thing outdoors? Is this Betty Crockett or something? Like outdoors baking cakes? Whatever. I out of school and my mom would be at work, so I'd just come home and go straight to the fridge. I'd eat anything and everything I'd get my hands on. And that's when the weight gain started building. Okay, with this one, I can kind of see why you thought we were the same person. Me and him probably look pretty close at that age. 
That's pretty damn close. I, this kid might have been related to me in some other life. I started gaining probably 50 pounds a year. And by the time I was in high school, I was over 400 pounds. And my senior year in high school, I had a really bad leg injury. I fell down some stairs, my ankle twisted, and I had two detached ligaments in my leg. We're very much prone to like ankle, knee injury, stuff like that, but I've never really, I had a torn meniscus. Well, no, it wasn't even torn. They just told me I had like arthritis or whatever. And that injury made me bed bound and prevented me from finishing my senior year. It's been eight years since that happened, and I've been trapped in this bed, and I've been getting bigger and bigger to the point. Were you truly bedbound, or just part of you want to give up? Like, I feel like part of him just wanted to give up. He could have still got around on crutches if he still wanted to. But it seems like he's been babied a lot through his life by his mom. So that's obviously going to have, like, a nasty side effect. And now I don't even know what I weigh. And I'm scared to find out. My knee has never fully healed. So I just kind of sit, watch TV, knit. Play. Knitting? What does he have written on his hand? Cake? Cheese? Litos? I, I don't know, man. It looks like he's got a grocery list on his hand, but crochet? I never really got into that one. I never learned how. I feel like I jabbed myself like hell with those things. Games. I miss being able to do simple things for myself. But it's just not possible anymore. And I know it's because of my eating. For me, eating can be an all-day thing. You hit the, oh my god, butt naked gaming and ruffles. Wow, what a hell of a combination right there. I'm not even mad at him for it, honestly. I keep snacks under my covers just to make sure I have something nearby when I want to eat. Hey, Mom. Imagine his mom was doing that little head balancing trick and like a Snickers bar fell out and hit her in the face. That would have been hilarious. I'm probably going to need a little snack. Sean has no appetite control. He's hungry incessantly. What do you want? Um, uh, just a couple burgers and soda. Maybe medium fry. Oh, um, could you give me one of those uh, caramel sundaes? Sure, no problem. Some Damn, if you're gonna go get everything, you are officially his Uber Eats. Why would he ever say no one said no to him, so why would he ever not ask for more? Because you're just going to go get it and go get it and go get it. Sometimes it's just easier to give him what he wants, and unfortunately, I do that all the time. Okie dokie. I've had people tell me, you don't have to give him food just because he says he's hungry. But I'm a mom, and when your kids say, I'm hungry, mom, you want to feed your kid. Oh, I'm mom. I have to give him exactly what he wants all the damn time. Okay. Because Sean likes to eat pretty regularly, fast food really is pretty much the easiest thing to do. Great. Thank you very much. Well, the Hamburglarette strikes again. How's... Every single day, McDonald's? That would have to add up. He can't be getting any money coming in, really, right? Where the hell's all the money coming for this one? I guess the show does pay for food, right? He has very little in life to really look forward to. So my coming home with something is a very big event for him. Damn right. Gotta look forward to Mama's meat, of course. Bringing home the burgers. <sighs> Food has kind of become my comfort. Kind of like a child with their blankie. Grab the bag. Well, I wish you had a blankie, because I am not feeling this little Tarzan towel thing you're doing right now. I'm sad or when I'm stressed, when I'm just playing down in the dumps. I turn to food. 
you can take more than one bite. The thing's not going to run away. Also, what kind of psychopath brings home ice cream? I don't know what tomorrow will bring, but at least I know food is there. Diabetes is on the way, too. That's for damn sure. More and more each day. And I'm tired of just existing. I want to have a family. I would love to have friends. I can't even do that, though. I need to lose weight just so I can live. I have the family thing is going to be kind of hard until we get the fupa out of the way, too. Because I'm not sure that, uh... You are quite equipped for that, since you're doing that little runoff thing when you go to the bathroom. Unless you're slamming a hog down there, who knows? No other options. And if I don't, I'm dead. Yeah, you are definitely at death's door, my friend. But good thing is that you can definitely fight your way back. The only hole you can't dig yourself out of is the grave, and I'm hoping to God this guy picks it up. Oh. Got this. Last time I left the house into my own power was years ago. Damn, she's thick. I didn't know. I thought that. I know they make like wider wheelchairs, but that's an extra wide boy. I wonder if they had to special order that thing. Oh, go. I am extremely nervous about this trip. It's going to take anywhere between 30 to 40 hours to drive there. And I'm very worried about that. What is this guy packing? Does he have like a hunting knife? Is he afraid that this guy is going to bite him if he doesn't get his way? He did say he bit people early on. But yeah, that's going to be a hell of a long time in a fart coffin in that car with him and, and everything. All that fast food. Good God. If I fall, it would be near impossible for people to pick me up. Oh, 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 that hurts. How the hell did your leg turn into a McDonald's arch? Oh my god. That's a new love for fast food for sure. Knee popped. Ow. Can we winch that under his leg? I'm leaving everything I know to save my life. Look at this guy. He needs to experience life. That's what I hope comes out of all this. He couldn't get his foot up, so they put a skid plate pillow under it? Couldn't one of you just pick his legs up and put it on the little footrest? There you go. Good. Jake, help head. me with my leg. Three, two, two one. one. This is by far the biggest risk my mom and I have ever taken. <laughs> He got up in there better than that JT guy, and he looks bigger than JT. He's surprisingly mobile, but maybe it's because he's in his mid-twenties. His body just hadn't figured out yet. We're getting old, it gets harder. Job. Just those last few inches, babe. And I'm scared that I'm beyond help Whoa. at this point. And then no matter what I do, or what help I get, I'm still going to be dead soon. This guy's got a real negative mindset, but, I mean, a, a lot of people do on the show. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a hell of a lot more negative when I was at my biggest. It just kind of feels like everything's pointless at that point. I'm just uncomfortable for laying still for so long. I had to go to the bathroom. And it's a lot more complicated to do simple things I would do at home. I'm stuck! Okay, oh, got my shoulder oh, you Oh! Balance it on your head. We know that's your finishing move or whatever, Mama. I hate to see my child in so much pain, but I know this is to help him. I'm just done with this drive. I want to be in my own bed again. Here's your drumstick. Thank God we brought snacks, a whole drumstick, just because you went to the bathroom. The only thing that really helps calm me down is food. Oh. I'm starting to get more and more mad that this guy emailed me thinking that this was me. I am not this, ah, man, I'm not this, like, down, down. I'm so happy about most things. Oh. 
I hate this. I'm more than ready for this road trip to be over. I'm just waiting for, like, U-Haul to put out an ad that says, Moving the Morbidly Obese. Like, that is their new, like, catchphrase or whatever because of this show. So it looks like we're finally in Houston. We are heading to the hospital first. I just want to get to our own place and into my own bed. So I hope I don't have to sleep. Got a cooler right there. He's got a bed in there. It should be a little more comfortable than most rides. I mean, we've seen him do the bed in the back before, though. I guess you will feel every bump. Stay long. I don't like hospitals at all. Right now, we're expecting the arrival of Sean Milliken. He supposedly can still walk some. So we'll see how mobile he is and get him out and inside as quickly as possible. He is pulling up to the hospital, still gaming with a crochet needle. This guy doesn't give a damn about anything besides video games and acting like a kid. Sean? Hello. How are you today? I'm good. How was your trip? Interesting. Right now, Sean doesn't look like he's very concerned about his health. He's clearly at least 800 pounds from looks of it, and he has... Duh, he's playing Candy Crush Saga with Paul Hamburger Bun right here in the overalls. So he doesn't have to worry about anything. Everybody's going to do everything for him. Everybody's going to bring him everything. He doesn't have a care in the world besides, like, where his next meal's coming from, and he knows that. His mom. Swelling of the entire left leg and deformity of the foot. Let's bring him in. But Sean has some mobility, which is good. You okay? But he can't walk too far, and he still needs to be in a wheelchair. Where's the pillow skid plate? You guys are going to let him get drugged this whole way? So we get him inside and see how he's doing. Stop! I can't go any further. Stop! Thank you. What exactly do we need a break for? You're all long for the ride. I'm sure he's in pain after being in the back of that car for that long, but you kind of just have to suck it up. Pain's the name of the game. Like, it doesn't feel good to get this bit. You're okay? No, I'm in extreme pain. What's the matter? Everything. I'm not used to seeing a wheelchair. Okay, you don't want to go any further. I want to examine you here. I've had to do more of the last 20, 15 minutes. I've had to. You know, he kind of sounds like Napoleon Dynamite when he gets upset. Like that tone he's getting is just like drawing parallels to that in my head. A while. I'm extremely. <laughs> Sean is throwing a little tantrum because he's uncomfortable in his wheelchair. He's likely used to getting his way with that. Why don't we try what that uh, therapist told Lee to do? Lay on the ground, start kicking and screaming and throwing a big baby tantrum. He lives with his mother, and I don't think it's hard to start to understand their unhealthy dynamic. How old is he? Um, he's 26 years old. 26. Yeah. He follow any diet. The last calories that I was trying to get him at was approximately 2,500 a day. We were 2,500 a day, yeah. Oh, shut the hell up. There's no way. Why does everyone lie to Dr. Now? Especially in the earlier seasons, I feel like they lied more and more. And Dr. Now just got more wise and more wise to it. Like, he don't hear that crap at all anymore. We do what? keep him at 800. That's fine. We know what we're getting into, yeah. And the reality is, Sean must be taking in at least twenty to 30,000 calories a day. And that is because his mother bringing it to him. You can Holy shit. That's like what I would eat in almost a month at this point. 30,000? Wow. I'm like, I'm almost in shock. I don't even have a joke with that one. That's just like shocking enough in and of itself him right now. This has to stop. This is a very unhealthy dynamic between them. Oh, no. What? I, 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 no 
know you did not just jam your fingers down there to see if you had any butt butter. Oh my god. This is ew. I guess at least he felt it out before the nurses had to clean it up. Sean is used to his mother completely taking care of him. As long as she does everything for him, Sean has no reason to leave. And she controls him with the food. Also, his mom's kind of brave, because if he would have leaned back in that wheelchair wrong timing, she might have lost a damn arm in that bear trap. We have to start making drastic changes with him, starting with his own situation. All right, Sean, you're going to bring the scale and let you stand on it and see how much you weigh. I don't know if that scale is actually wide enough for his love handles, though. That might not be. He might not be able to get in between that thing. All right, the scale said over the limit, so this scale goes only to 800 pounds. I'm yeah, it kind of hurts when you see your scale say error when you stand on it. And I've been there, done that. It, it kills your soul a little bit. Like, I got a scale that's supposed to go up to, what, like, 550 or something like that? I stood on it because I didn't know what I weighed, and I saw E-R-R, -R, and I think, well, this thing's broken. We need to get a better scale. need to know your true weight, so we're going to get you to bed scale. I hate this. I just want to go home. All right, we're going to get you. Home would be a little rough, though. That's 40 hours the other way. And a hell of a lot of hamburger stops and turkey legs along the way, too. That's going to be expensive as hell. In the bed and check your weight. Looks like you're 919 pounds. Holy shit. Screw it. Go for a thousand. Let's play pick four with this puppy. Oh my god. We're already doing the pick five with our friggin' like calorie intake every single day. You may be the heaviest person alive right now. This is not a good place to be. At your weight, it's a miracle that you're alive. Both Sean and his mom claim they're ready to make change. I don't know, but I think I might feel a little proud if I was in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the heaviest man alive. I missed out on my true calling in life, guys. What the hell? What is going on here? But I'm not seeing any evidence of that. He can get up and he can start to choose to do things on his own. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you a diet plan and I want you to lose at least 100 pounds over the next couple of months. If you do that, I will prove you for weight loss surgery. It's Damn, Dr. Now is still going pretty easy at this point, because 100 pounds is nothing for somebody who weighs 919. He probably could drop that in two weeks if he cut down to 800 calories like they want. It's insane. Because all that fluid's going to come out, have to come off him and everything, too. I'd guarantee he could lose 100 pounds in like two weeks. Let's get you back up to your mouth. The fact that he's still somewhat mobile is probably the only reason he's still alive. Yeah, he's definitely one of the luckier ones. Lucky he's this big, this young. Because if he was 36 and this big, I don't see him being able to take a step at all. And uh, I'm surprised people can even wheel him around. That's a lot of friggin' weight to push. May I have something to eat? Yeah, I'll get you something in a second, honey. My mom and I have been in Houston for a month now. And we're still trying to just get settled. Sean hasn't really adapted to the new diet just yet. But uh, you're taking him from 30,000 calories a day to 800. I would expect him to throw a little bit of tantrums here and there just because that's not what he's going to like exactly. But you don't really have to like the diet. You have to like living, honestly. We're trying. Sean has the big appetite. You know, he just wants to eat constantly. He never seems like he's going to get full. 
And if he's hungry, he needs something to eat. I'm looking to see if he's got any snacks in this puppy. Uh, that could be crochet stuff, or that could be gummy bears. The, ju the jury's out on this one. Today I was craving a burger. And I think I have to be able to enjoy food just a little. The doctor wants to be on 800 calories, and I have no idea what that would be in actual. Probably that burger was 800 calories. Add the french fries, you're probably 1,200, 1,300. So you already soared past that puppy. We're, we're breaking all the limits here. Screw it. The ceiling is not the limit. We're going to bust right through it, huh, buddy? Well, food. Actually, I think that 800 is a bit extreme. Well, I've cut back a lot. I'm trying to keep it down to one burger or fast food meal a day. Wait. Oh, I saw like a Tupperware. What was it? One of those Tupperware things? Not Tupperware. I don't know what to call it, but it's full of soda. Let's see if they flick back to it again. So I feel like it's a good compromise to show the doctor I can do this. And I hope I'm making good progress. Why is this guy like three bite Tony too? Like he's chomp, chomp, chomp. He doesn't just bite and then chew. Chomp, 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 chew. He's got the weirdest habits about him. But I, I think he thinks somebody's going to take the burger away. Take a minute, catch your breath. Let's start him over. Sean and I did try to keep to the doctor's diet. But we didn't feel comfortable putting him on that low of a calorie diet. Thank God you didn't feel comfortable. This isn't about comfort. This lady, I don't think she realizes, like, that once he's gone, she's alone. Like, there's nobody else there. He doesn't get to come back. So she definitely needs to take this a little more serious, or she's going to lose her son that she loves to baby and take care of. But I really do feel Sean is doing better now. I'm not nervous about my progress. I am nervous about what the doctor is going to say. I really need this surgery. I don't know. I'm pretty damn nervous about your progress, considering we were on one fast food meal a day at this point. I had to lose a drastic amount of weight. Or I know I'm dead. It seems like he knows what's going to happen. Like, there's no other way this ends. You either change or you die. You don't get to sail off into the sunset with some hamburgers. Like, you're really going to have to work at this. Sean, how you feel? Extreme pain. Where's your pain? My tailbone and my back. Well, I can imagine you put 1,000 pounds on your ass. It might hurt a little bit. But also, when you get too fat to shimmy through the doors of a bariatric, like you can't even do the side electric boogie through the damn thing. So you are definitely in a very bad way, my friend. And how is your degree of uh, ability to move around? It's worse. Let me just check a few things. Sean is so big right now, he cannot make it to the waiting room door. He's worse half now, and he looked like he maybe put another 50 to 100 pounds on. Yeah, the edema is getting much worse. I'd what? If he put on 100 pounds, we did crack the half ton. Like, he could have his own, like, friggin' show. Forget the half ton sisters or whatever. This guy is a show. At this point, he may be approaching 1,000 pounds. Very few people make it to that weight and survive long. Again? Okay, pretty normal. Sean and his mom are not taking this seriously at all. And this dynamic with his mom is what we have to break. How? Like, I understand why Sean's struggling to adjust, right? Because he, this is all he's known. He just gets his way, eats whatever he wants. But I don't understand why the mom is failing to understand the severity of what's going on here. Like, this is life or death. What is in nutrition? Good, good. And I mean, he's eating, you know, just good, healthy food, but we need to get on 800 calories. Renee, his condition is far worse than two months ago. This is not acceptable. Just, I mean, what should he be eating? Should he be eating protein? I gave you... Not friggin' burgers. Not french fries. 
low car like people are like all the time what's dr now's diet just cut out carbs carbs are the enemy of all fat kind i've come to that conclusion over my years you all the information you needed in the diet plan you're not getting it sean is near death right now so something has to be done if I send Sean home, this will probably be the last time I see him. Right now, we need to get his health under control and his weight going in the right direction. You. I'm pretty shocked he's made it this far, even. Because this, I mean, it gets pretty bad when you're in the six, sevens, eights, whatever. This guy's is in the nines. That, like, I thought I was as miserable as miserable could get. And now I see this guy, and I'm like... What the hell does he feel like? It's got to be hell on earth. You and your mom has not made a single positive change as far as I can tell. So I'm admitting you to the hospital immediately so we can get your health under control. This is going to be your last chance. Do this or that's it. We will be able to do it. All right. A little positivity out of him. Also, when's the last time you guys think he got scrubbed down? Because they moved. So the lady that came over to do the shower while the mom did that little balancing head trick isn't there. So he can't just be getting regular like baths at all at this point. I'm going to admit him to the hospital and start him on 800 calorie diet per day for next couple of months. If we don't, his body is going to give out any day now. Wow, these guys are strong. Shout out to these EMTs throwing their back out for this one. I always, I have immense respect for EMTs because they kind of put themselves on the line here. Because if that thing goes rolling, he's just getting sandwiched between an ambulance and a thousand pound man at this point. I know I need help. But this just feels unfair right now. There's no reason to be in the hospital away from my home and my bed. It just feels a bit excessive. Excessive? I guess you would know a thing or two about excess since you've been eating in excess. But no, it's not excessive. Your mom fed you more. You got bigger on the doctor's initial diet. It's life or death. It's not excessive at all. I've been in the hospital two months. They've had me on a controlled diet, and I've pretty much been starving. Hello. You, you, you'll adjust after a little bit of time. Everyone's starving when they first start a diet. You kind of get used to it as time goes on. At least that's what I always tell people. Push through that first, like, week or two. Your body adjusts pretty quick. Like, the human body's friggin' amazing. How y'all doing? Good, thank you. I'm doing all right. How are you feeling, Sean? Feeling okay. When Sean arrived here, we were able to weigh him, and he was 1,003 pounds. But we started him on 800 calorie a day controlled diet. Holy shit, he did it. He really cracked the half ton mark. I don't think anyone's ever done that on the show. So this is the biggest guy ever on the show, I think. And he started losing weight rapidly. <laughs> 744. What? He did good. <laughs> now that we have his weight going in the right direction and he's mobile again, I'm sending him home to show me that he and his mother are capable of making changes they say they want. I can't believe he dropped 260 that quick. But then again, it kind of melts off and he was over a thousand pounds. Some of which is most certainly going to be fluid or whatever. So, yeah, man, that's crazy. All right, Sean, I want you to lose 100 pounds over the next couple of months to show me that you can do this on your own. Okay? Thank you, Dad. Uh oh, no, we're sending him home again? That's a death sentence. This lady loves to feed this kid. Look at that smirk on her face. She's like, we're stopping at Ben and Jerry's on the way home. <laughs> Baskin Robbins, Baskin Mama, like, come on, man, this is insane. We're going to see what we're going to do to switch it up, okay? Sean's been a little resistant, but I'm trying to be his coach. So do your leg pumps, and I think we're going to bump the reps up, too, because we've only been doing 10. Mom, we are bumping it up if we're doing it. Every hour, I am bumping up reps. I know, but 
what you're doing is not that much. We're adding on twice as much now. Try Come on, man. Just push yourself a little bit. It's for you in the long run. Try. You try it. There is an element in this process that I feel I'm responsible for. So I encourage him, but I can't force him to do more. That's what leg pumps are? You, like, shin, what? You hit yourself with your heel and your nuts? That doesn't seem like that would do anything. I guess any movement's good, though. That's too many. Okay, do as many as you can tolerate. My mom's been pushing me to do a lot, kind of reaching my limit with it all. Okay, then get to your walker, and you can stand twice, okay? I can't do it right now. Mom, I literally can't do it right Why now. Why can't you do it right now? My legs are killing me right now. This guy's mod. Like, I understand that you get very negative and down on yourself, and I can't is probably one of the things that you're, like, for... It's at the forefront of your mind. Like, you think you can't do a lot. You can do a lot more than you think you can at this size. So you're going to have to push yourself. And this guy's definitely going to have to push himself because he got up over a ton, like half ton. We've come too far to give up. For Sean, turning around from this process is pretty much a death sentence. And we always have that looming over us. Yeah, the Grim Reaper is definitely knocking down your door, and he's on his way. But hopefully that good start, he can kind of keep it up now that he's home. Because he sees kind of what it takes. I don't know how driven he is, how motivated he is, but he should want to live a normal life. It seems like he's still just a kid in an adult's body at this point. Right. You need to really, really be strict. I'm a little freaked out that we have to drop calories down a little lower than we've already been struggling with because we're eating so much better than we used to. And you still have to take a step back and go, yeah, but it's still not where we need to be. I'm I mean, a lot of stuff in that fridge don't look all that bad, though. It looks like they've definitely made a change for the best here with this nutritionist. She'll be able to toss anything that's not good at all for him. Buy the packaged apples, you know, those. Those are usually what he would get with his lunch. Maybe raw carrots with, with yeah. lunch instead of the apples. Would yeah. that work for you, Sean? I can try it. I see some pasta. Do y'all eat pasta? Yeah. So this type of thing okay. is something that we need to get rid of, OK? So this would be something that to just toss out. Okay. Yeah, pasta ain't exactly on the low carb. That sucks. But I mean, there might be some kind of workaround you can have. I don't know. Do they make like a cauliflower pasta? I know they make cauliflower crust pizza that you can kind of have. I am more anxious because more is being asked. That's the scary place for me to be. I don't like this. I knew that saying goodbye to a lot of this stuff was coming, but I'm already trying and giving up so much. All right, so here's the thing. The scariest place to be is going to be at your son's funeral, which is kind of where you're working towards. So you should be trying as hard as you can to make sure that this doesn't happen and that he gets to live a longer life. Because he's made some changes, sure, but he's still got a long way to go before he's, like, healthy and able to do a lot of the things he should be doing at this point. Sean came to the hospital claiming he was having chest pain and worried he was having heart attack. I suspect that he was making it up to try to get out of his physical therapy and his diet plan, and I think I'm right about that. Sean. Damn, you really claim cardiac arrest to get out of some, what, leg pumps? That's all you really want it out of that that bad? We ran some tests and nothing is wrong except that you need to lose more weight. So I'm guessing that you haven't been sticking to your diet and exercise. Okay, 787 pounds. Oh my god, he gained 43. I thought the fridge looked good. I didn't think that was going to happen. And he has to know. That had to be maybe half a fast food like meal a day or something like that. That's a weight gain just over 40 pounds. That is unacceptable. You can't keep manipulating everyone like you have done with your mother.
What's that little smirk for, Mama Celeste? You brought him some of them damn little pizzas, didn't you? You're risking your life every day you do this. Either this stops now, or you can try to figure it out on your own, because you seem you think you know better. I'm sending you home, and I'm sending psychologists to talk to both of you, because this unhealthy dynamic you both have is going to lead to your death. I think he definitely needs to see a psychologist. The mom needs to see a psychologist for sure. Because in, like, wanting to make her son happy, she is literally going to be one of those feeders that's, like, fascinated with feeding someone to death. Like... It's a it's disgusting the dynamic between these two. It's really kind of sickening to watch. Next time I see you, I want you to lose 150 pounds, and I'm giving you two more months. No more games. No more excuses. Sean has to stop manipulating his mom, and his mom has to stop giving in. If she doesn't, then nothing is going to change, and Sean is going to die because of his weight. A buck fifty in two months? Uh, I don't know. It's going to be tough, especially at home. But we've seen in the hospital, he can absolutely do that. Like, it's no problem for him to do when he's in the hospital. Because I want to get out of this bed. So bringing good food into the house sounds like it was as much a struggle for you as it was for Sean. Yeah, it was. It was. Very much so. Could you think about saying no as a way of saying, I love you. I can, because I've kind of had to learn to do that. And I can't say it's a struggle I've completely overcome. Yeah, I think mom is struggling very much so here with food. She's definitely had a few go-arounds with some moon pies, maybe some oatmeal cream pies, maybe a couple cosmic brownies, a little Debbie. She definitely has met her a time or two. Maybe the Cinnabon fairy, I don't know. But she definitely struggles with food, too. I still succumb sometimes. It's hard to say no. Yeah, it's hard to say no. Are you ready to start pushing yourself there? Yeah. Everything that normally you bring him right, right. now requires some level of movement. Right, right. And I don't want you, I don't want you to idea. start real big. I want right. you to start with something that we know he could do. Right. All right, guys. I really need this lady to learn to say no before she's saying no to like the cemetery or whatever like no we don't want this on the headstone no we want like she's gonna have to learn it eventually it's really sad to see this guy be 26 years old never have lived an adult life at all kind of a recluse mainly because i know what it's like to kind of lock yourself away from the world and just not want to be an adult anymore and i also kind of know what it's like to just act immature just because i'm a little immature at times but I always say, don't grow up, it's a trap. Being an adult kind of sucks, but you just have to do it. Guys, well, I think yeah. we're going to call it good. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. Great meeting you. Y'all take care. Bye-bye. Right. Take care. I know deep down I could do more, but I want a life, so I'm going to try and do what the doctor needs me to so I can get the surgery. Because of that... All right, well, as long as he knows what he needs to do... Hopefully he can do it. Like, I really want to see this guy win because he's sharing my name. I'm going to die. I really hope I lost the 150 I needed. And I am very, very nervous. Holy hell, he lost a lot. I was going to say, like, if he can fit in that scale all of a sudden, the guy's definitely lost a ton of weight. 636. I didn't Damn. expose what you did it. So we're going to approve you for surgery. Thank you. It's been a hard journey, but it's well worth it. I'm proud of you. I'll see you later. All right. Okay? I'm really happy to see him finally get it together. Hopefully he ends up having the great life that he deserves. Because the guy deserves a good life. It doesn't matter what you've done in the past, kind of where you let yourself go. You deserve to be happy, and this guy clearly has not been happy thus far. All right. Thank you. I can't believe it. Good job. You did good. I'm, so I'm just so happy and proud right now. That's a lot to be proud of. I'm actually proud of the mom just as much as I'm proud of him. 
Because she had to change just as much as he did, really. This surgery is going to help him to make more progress in the long run. But he still needs to lose a lot of weight. We just have to keep him motivated and continue to work with him and his mom. But for now, he's doing really good. Once he... Re I would like to see him when he wakes up. Because he was complaining about extreme pain. It does kind of hurt when you wake up. All that gas they pump into you so they can like look around in your stomach. It feels like you have to burp, but you don't have to burp. Like it hurts. It's this weird pain in your stomach that I don't think anyone could really explain to you unless they've had the surgery. I don't think I could even explain it to you. It covers. We can get him home so he can continue making progress on his own. I've been home from surgery for a month. And I've been getting used to all the changes. And I'm glad the cravings aren't as bad right now. So 600, we decided we're going to do movies, Some right? Some movies. I could believe it. Uh, I don't think you're going to fit into the movie theater seats at 600. At least I know I struggled a little bit. It was definitely a squeeze. Maybe a drive-in. In the future now, where I'll be able to go out and do things. So I'm planning goals with my mom for stuff I want to do every time I hit a weight goal. So that's 400. I feel like they're not just dreams now. Hey, it's nice to set goals and have things you want to do. But at the same time, you, have, you notice that all his goals seem like things that a little kid would write? Like zoo, movies. But I guess he's still very much stuck in that little kid mindset since... I think he said he's been bedbound since his senior year? I know I can hit all these goals in the next year. And that's what I'm determined to do. So you're thinking 200. How about big amusement park or cruise? It's exciting to see my son's life take shape. He'll be hitting those goals for Big amusement park? I know if I'm a 26-year-old man and I ain't been out of the bed since I was 18, when I hit 200, it's going to be Tinder demon time is going to be my goal. You know it, babe. You ready to get your weight check? I have worked pretty hard for this moment. You're down to 583. This is good. Damn, he's already almost at half his weight. But I guess when you're half a ton, it's going to be a little easier to hit 500. Hey, you under 600 pounds. All right. Wow, that's awesome. One year into it. Wow. I think I'd like to try and get outside for a little bit. Ooh. I was barely able to move a year ago. Now, I... I kind of like that, too. I never expected him to say, I want to get outside, because it seemed like he only was concerned with sitting there playing games in bed. I can get around a lot easier. Good job, sweetie. You're doing great. I still have ways to go, but I'm closer than I've been in 10 years. Be back out there doing things, living life. You're definitely moving a lot better, honey. God, he's thick. Why is everybody caked up on this show but me? Like, I wasn't on the show, but I am, like, flat in my butt area. There's a whole world out there. I'm Okay. I just can't wait to get back to it. Wow. That's a big change for Sean. I'm happy for the guy. Because I didn't think he was going to get there. I thought he just was so stuck in his ways and that kind of childish mindset. I didn't think he was going to be one of the successful ones. But it's kind of good to see that he was. I'm kind of curious about where he is. So I'll look it up, tell you guys where he is now. And hopefully he just kind of kept going on his path. And uh, got to go to the zoo. Got to go to the amusement park. Whatever he wanted to do. But uh, hats off to Sean. My fellow 600 pounder with the same name as me that somebody confused for me and I'm not sure how you confused him for me because I think I am a very different looking guy than him but uh yeah that's that's all I got guys leave a like leave a comment let me know what you thought about Sean my doppelganger apparently and I'll see y'all later peace